And just days after that tragedy, another case of a child potentially being exposed to fentanyl. All right, this time a drug bust included high-powered weapons in a home in Queens where a 10-year-old lives. Linda Schmidt in the newsroom with more on these disturbing details. Linda. Yeah, hi there, Stephen. Natasha, it seems that people just don't learn. The NYPD holding a news conference today about the drug bust in Queens Village to highlight the widespread fentanyl problem and the concerns about children once again being exposed to the fatal drug. Go ahead and take a look at this. Police displaying about four kilos of cocaine, heroin, and presses that are used for packaging and distributing drugs. Detectives say there was also evidence the drugs were being mixed with fentanyl. The large drug operation was being operated out of a single family home where a 10 year old child lived, putting that child's life in danger. Multiple guns, including a high capacity rifle, were also confiscated. Five adults are now under arrest. A kid's bedroom across the hall is uh, fatal doses of, of legal narcotics. It's just across the hall from where a 10 year old child is sleeping. It is completely unacceptable. And police say they take these cases personally because the drug dealers, they have no regard for the lives of children or anybody else. This investigation is ongoing. Stephen Natasha, back upstairs. Yeah, so horrifying. All right, thanks, Linda.